Hello everyone, welcome to a small turbo channel. Welcome back sa ating advanced study para sa next um, class or next opening of the class after the Christmas vacation. So, nandito na tayo sa module 2 ng quarter 2 of Science 7. That our topic is all about the levels of biological organization in an organism. So, ito yung ating front cover, courtesy of, okay, Wibbly.com, 3RJ's Body Systems, Wibbly.com. Alright, so again, ito yung self-learning home test na ginagawa, ginawa natin para sa ating mga estudyante para mapadali ang kanilang pag- um, study okay or is para ma they can understand better or they can understand immediately um, they it will I mean hindi na ma, uh, ma waste yung time nila so let's start with the readings so there are many levels of organization. So here, we are going to take up 12 levels of organization in an organism. So we will start from the simplest to the more complex level of the levels of uh, or the biology or the levels of organization in an organism. So from the smallest to the largest, the levels are molecule, Followed by the cell, the, the tissue, the organ, then the organ system, the organism, the population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. So let's start on the molecules. So they are made up of atoms. So this is the smallest unit of chemical elements. They can be found in all living organisms. So examples are water, okay, nitrogen gas. So this is the picture. Okay. It's called courtesy of Google.com. So there are examples of molecules. The second is the cell. This is the basic unit and the building block of life. Then there are two kinds of cells, the prokaryotic cells, uh, so they are the single-celled organism, and the smaller and smaller, then the eukaryotic cells, so they are usually found in multicellular organisms, but there are few single-celled eukaryotes. So, example of cells are human blood cells, plant, and animal cell, which will, we are going to take up in the next, uh, next lesson. Okay, this is an example of cell. This is the blood cell. Then, we have the third level is the tissue. So, this is made of cells that work together to perform a certain task. So, examples are human skin tissue. So, this is an example of the human skin tissue. So, nakikita ninyo may mga hair pa. Okay? May mga hair na tumutubo sa skin tissue. Okay? So, yung, kung i-pluck ninyo yung hair na yan, merong medyo white sebum siya. Galing yan sa underneath of your skin. Okay, so this is the example of tissue. This is specifically the human skin tissue. Then the fourth level of the levels of organization in an organism is the organ. So this is made of similar tissues arranged and grouped together to perform a specific function. So examples of organs are the brain and the heart. Then bordering skin. Okay, skin is an organ. So, let's focus on this picture. So, this is an example of an organ. This is the brain. Okay, the human brain. Okay, this is the fourth level of organization. Then, we have the fifth level, the organ system. So, with the brain, the spinal cord, and other and other parts 
uh, or other organs, we call them organ system. Let's try to take a look at the nervous system interactively. Okay, so this is our interactive model of the nervous system. So the nervous system contains the cranial nerves, the brain, okay, the brain, the spinal cord, okay, nakikita nyo nag-highlight yung spinal cord, brain, okay, nag-highlight yung brain, then the spinal nerve, Okay, all over the body located yan. Then, the cranial nerves. Okay? So, yan ang nervous system. So, brain, isa lang ang brain sa mga membro ng nervous system. Meron pang spinal cord, spinal nerve, cranial nerves. Okay? So, nakikita nyo na ang difference ng uh, organ system at saka organ. Itong brain, organ lang yan. Okay, pero kapag uh, nabilong na siya sa system, tinatawag na siya na organ system. Balik tayo. So, yan ang organ system. Group of organs that work together. So, yung itong nervous system, ah, circulatory system po pala ito. Okay, yung example na pinapakita ko pa niya is related kasi sa dito na example, yung brain na organ, uh, meron iba pang organ, the spinal cord, the cranial nerves, uh, the spinal nerves make up the nervous system. And this example here is the circulatory system, by the way. So, circulatory system consists of the heart, then the, the nerves, no? the nerves all over our body. So, the different uh, veins, no? Okay, so that's the organ system. Then, we have the sixth level, the organism. So, this um, organism can be us, human, can also be bacteria, amoeba, okay, mouse, uh, plants. So, there are examples of organisms. So, here in our picture, it's a human. Okay, human. Ang pinapakita na example ng organism. Then, population is a group of organisms of the same species occupying a given area. So, example are colony of ants and, okay, herd of cows. So, there are examples of population. So, cows lang yan dyan, ha? Okay, example yan ng population. Then, community composed of all the population of different species of organisms living to get together in a given area. So, example here in our picture, the species in a pond. So, this is the fish pond. So, take note, meron na yung uh, mga plants, meron na yung other animals besides the fishes. So, that makes up the community. Then, we have the ecosystem. This is made up of all the communities in a certain area as well as all the non-living physical components of the environment. So, examples of this are rainforest, desert, grassland, swamp, and others. So, dito, disyerto ang ating example. Example na ecosystem. So, included na dito sa ecosystem yung mga rocks, yung mga soil, mga non-living physical components, okay? Besides the plants, the animals living in that area. That made, that made up the uh, ecosystem. Then, we have the biosphere, the 10th level or the largest. This is simply defined as the place, area, and zone where the entire life on Earth exists. So, so the atmosphere, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, uh, also, the one above constitute the biosphere na. So, this is the example. The earth system, okay? The, the rocks, the soils, the sky, the water, the plants, the animals. That's the biosphere na. And, meron tayong exercises dito. So, for exercise 1, complete the sentences by choosing your answer inside the box. So, I have learned that living things are organized from simplest to most complex. 
So what are okay organism? This should be the answer. Then the first level is what's the first level? Molecules that consist of two or more atoms banded together. Then blank is considered as the fundamental unit of life. So that's the cell. In this level, a combination of cells which work together to perform um to perform a what, what do you, a specific okay the answer should here should be set, specific set of functions is called okay so this is already the combination of cells so it's tissue number five is tissue then next different kinds of tissue form a what do you think different kinds of tissue form a organ okay a organ An, this should be an, form an, okay? An organ doing the same function forms an organ system, okay? This is an organ system. Is an individual belonging to a particular species that has its own distinct existence. Example of this is... So this is already organism. Uh, organism is it organism? Species. Community. Number one po pala is levels of organism. So, I have learned that living things are organized from simplest to most complex levels of organism. Then here, organism is an individual belonging to a particular species that has its own distinct existence. And an example of this is human being. Alright. Then population is composed of individuals of the same species living in the same area while meron ba community? Okay, community consists of all the population of different species of an organism. An example of this is rocks species in oh no an example of this is species in pot. Okay, an example of this is species in plant for number 12. Then number 13, rocks, air, and water are part of an ecosystem which living and non-living things interact with each other. The last level is the biosphere, the portion of the earth that contains all living organisms. Then dito sa exercise to natin, i-arrange nyo lang itong jumble letters. So using the definition, here for example is a group of atoms bonded together of course this should be molecules okay and the rest you may answer this these are just very easy you may answer them on your own and for the assessment this our assessment for our self-learning home test again these are very easy as long as you just understood the previous um, Part of our self-learning home task. Okay, you can answer them. Just encircle the letter of the correct answer. Then we have here the reinforcement activity. So, meron tayong mga situation and meron questions after that. You just answer, write your answer in the block. Okay, and we have the references. And thank you so much for listening to our advanced study for the quarter two. And I hope meron kayong natutunan at patuloy nyo suportahan ang small terrible para sa upcoming lessons na pwede nyo uh, i-advanced study. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.